In an era where Drake's rap cred is getting side-eyed by the OGs of hip hop. Like, is Drake hip hop? Drake is pop. Because we're here for truth. We're here for Drake truth. Is, Drake is pop to me. And every wannabe and their mother is clawing their way to a spot on Kanye's latest drop, like it's the last lifeboat on the Titanic. It's glaringly obvious. Despite Kanye being a walking, talking controversy magnet, the rap world is still madly in love with him. They'd sell their grandma for a verse on his album. Meanwhile, Drake, in all his meme-worthy glory, seems to be the guy everyone loves to hate in secret. But why? Is it jealousy? Or is Drake's hotline not blinging with genuine love from his peers? Drake is pop to me. Let's dive into the mess that is the hip-hop hierarchy, where Kanye reigns supreme and Drake, well, let's just say he's not getting invited to the cool kids' table. When the legendary New York MC Moss Def threw shade by declaring Drake more pop star than rapper, the internet went wild. While I'm not here to pick sides, the fallout was telling. Sure, a few loyal fans jumped to his defense, but the vast majority, they were too busy crafting memes and chuckling from the sidelines. This isn't just a one-off. It's the latest episode in the long-running series, Everybody Loves to Dunk on Drake. It's not just about what Moss Def said. It's about the reaction. It highlights a trend. In the court of public opinion and among his peers, Drake often finds himself on the receiving end of a roast rather than respect. On the flip side of the coin, we've got Kanye West navigating through a hurricane of controversy like it's just a breezy day at the park. Despite the mainstream media's relentless storm of negative press and the music industry's collective gasp at his audacity to drop another album, Kanye's studio might as well have a revolving door for all the hip-hop heavyweights lining up to collaborate. His latest project, Vultures, is turning into a veritable who's who of the rap world. In Kanye's world, controversy isn't just part of the game. It's the fuel that keeps the hype train rolling, proving once again that in the kingdom of hip hop, Yeezy reigns supreme, controversy be his crown. You've got Ty Dollar Sign, a titan in the scene, not just collaborating, but co-creating magic with Yeezy. Even Kid Cudi, who once traded barbs with Kanye like they were going out of style, has buried the hatchet to work with him. It's like Kanye's studio is the hip-hop equivalent of Switzerland, neutral territory where past beefs are squashed, and the only thing that matters is laying down tracks that will shake the foundations of the industry. It's a testament to Kanye's genius, or perhaps his sheer force of personality, that no matter how controversial or polarizing he may be, getting a spot on one of his albums is still viewed as a golden ticket in the rap game. It's as if his Midas touch in the studio turns every collaboration into industry gold. Controversy be damned. Meanwhile, Drake finds himself catching more shade than an umbrella, even from hitmakers like Metro Boomin. The root of this frosty reception boils down to the core differences between Yeezy and Drizzy in the hip-hop universe. Witnessing the spectacle of Kanye's listening parties for vultures, is like watching the who's who of rap come together in a grand summit. From Kodak Black to Freddie Gibbs, all the way to Kid Coody. The diversity in style, fame, and career stages of those sharing the stage with Kanye is staggering. Kanye's approach shatters the echo chamber that the industry often becomes, where artists recycle features within a tight-knit click of the moment's hottest names. Yeezy, on the other hand, casts a wider net, embracing a spectrum of talent that refuses to bow to the so-called industry standard. This inclusivity is precisely why the hip-hop community doesn't just admire Kanye. They deem him indispensable. His willingness to blend different sounds, backgrounds and narratives into his projects not only keeps his music fresh and unpredictable, but also reinforces his position as a pivotal figure in the rap game, a true nexus of innovation and creativity. It's a genius. I, I mean, if, you don't have, if, if you're not a musician or artist or whatever, you haven't, you know, you haven't witnessed it or you, you don't have the ear for that, 
then you may not know that, but he's a total genius. Let's not sugarcoat it. While many of Kanye's inner circle have also thrown verses with Drake, collaborations with the OVO head honcho often smack more of a high-profile branding exercise than a transformative musical partnership. Sure, a feature on a Drake track might send your Spotify plays through the roof, providing a nice, albeit temporary, bump in visibility. But when you step into the studio with Ye, you're not just getting a feature, you're potentially altering the trajectory of your career. Take a moment to consider the seismic shifts Kanye has orchestrated with his Midas touch. Whether it's producing Pusha T's Grammy-nominated bangers on Daytona and It's Almost Dry, or being the executive producer behind Playboy Carti's Whole Lot of Red. Kanye's collaborations are not just songs, they're career-defining moments that have reshaped the landscape of hip-hop. Collaborating with Drake might get you a spotlight moment, a blip of fame that fades as quickly as it arrived. But Kanye, he's in the business of building legacies. Look at the roster of artists he's nurtured. Kid Cudi, Travis Scott, Playboy Carti. These aren't just names on a track list, they're icons in their own right, each with a distinct sound that Kanye helped them refine and perfect. Travis Scott's Utopia is a testament to this built on a foundation that Ye helped lay down. Diving into the dynamics of Drake's collaborations reveals a pattern that's a bit like sticking to a tried and true recipe. While his partnerships with artists like Lil Baby and 21 Savage have spawned chart toppers and even entire albums, there's a notable absence of evolution. Drake, it seems, rarely nudges these artists beyond their musical comfort zones. This has led to a broader critique within the hip-hop community, suggesting that these artists under Drake's wing tend to recycle their formulas rather than innovate. This pattern of collaboration reflects a symbiotic relationship that, while beneficial in the short term, might not foster long-term artistic growth. Certified lover boy provides a case in point. Here, Drake seemingly steps back, allowing the artists he's collaborating with to steer the creative direction, echoing their established styles rather than blending or pushing boundaries. This approach, while yielding viral hits, underscores a critique often leveled at Drake. His tendency to ride the wave of emerging artists without significantly contributing to their artistic development. Contrast this with Kanye's collaborative ethos, exemplified in tracks like Off The Grid. Kanye doesn't just share the spotlight, he transforms it into a forge where new sounds and styles are hammered out. His work with Playboy Carti and Fivio Foreign on this track is illustrative. Kanye challenges them to elevate their game, resulting in a track that's not just a banger, but a bold statement in their discographies. It's this willingness to push artists into uncharted territory that not only defines Kanye's collaborative spirit, but also cements his role as a catalyst for innovation in hip hop. Drake's formula appears to be more about leveraging the current heat around artists to amplify his own brand without necessarily contributing to their artistic development. This discrepancy is strikingly evident in the stagnation observed in the careers of artists like Lil Baby and Jack Harlow, who, despite their initial hype, seem to have hit a plateau. This plateau effect is symptomatic of a broader issue within the rap industry, where the spotlight often fails to illuminate the full spectrum of talent available, partly due to the transactional nature of some high-profile collaborations. Kanye, on the other hand, has consistently demonstrated a commitment to elevating the art form by spotlighting undervalued talents within the hip-hop community. From his work with West Side Gun and Conway the Machine, to featuring Freddie Gibbs on Vultures, and most recently collaborating with the avant-garde artist JPEG Mafia, Kanye has shown an unparalleled dedication to pushing the boundaries of hip-hop. His approach not only offers these unique voices a platform on some of the most anticipated records in rap, but also challenges the industry's status quo. 
marked by gatekeeping and clout chasing. This ethos not only endears him to fans, but also garners respect from his peers, as evidenced by JPEG Mafia's public excitement over being recognized by Kanye. Such interactions underscore Kanye's role, not just as a producer or rapper, but as a pivotal figure in the advancement of hip-hop culture, continuously nurturing its evolution by bringing forward its most innovative and distinctive voices, reflecting on the distinct trajectories of Kanye West and Drake within the hip-hop sphere, paints a vivid picture of their respective influences and the resultant perceptions within the community. As we edge closer to the 20 year anniversary of the college dropout, Kanye's debut that shook the foundations of hip hop, it's astounding to see how he continues to shape the genre, remaining a pivotal figure whose work is as eagerly anticipated as ever. His albums from Graduation to 808 and Heartbreak have not only defined eras, but have also inspired a generation of artists, from mainstream juggernauts to underground icons. Can you, can you? Can I have a picture with you, can you? Yeah, yeah. Kanye's influence extends far beyond his superstar status. It's rooted in his ability to bring out the best in those he works with, pushing them to explore and realize their full potential. This is a sentiment echoed across the industry, highlighting why so many artists vie for a chance to work with him. His collaborations have been transformative, serving as a catalyst for artists to unlock new levels of creativity, much like Jay-Z on The Blueprint, Common on B, Kid Cudi on Man on the Moon, Travis Scott on Rodeo, Pusha T on Daytona, and Playboy Cardi on Whole Lotta Red. Drake, despite his success, is knocked for not pushing the envelope, sparking debates about his real impact on hip-hop's evolution. This raises a big question. What really makes a hip-hop artist's legacy? Is it just about hits and hype? Or do you need to break new ground and inspire others? The way the hip-hop world views Kanye versus Drake suggests innovation and influence are what truly make an artist legendary. The real measure of an artist's impact isn't just about their hits or fame, but how they lift up and inspire the industry. Kanye's fearless creativity and collaborative spirit have made him a standout in hip-hop, showing why he's so respected. What do you think about Kanye and Drake's different impacts on hip-hop? Is the critique of Drake fair? And how significant do you think Kanye's influence is on the music and its creators? Drop a comment below and let's discuss.